<laughs> Good luck. Oh my God, so good. Didn't have the camera roll, and the bear just ran right across the road in front of him. I just saw his butt. Oh, did you? Yeah. Did you see him run all the way across? I just saw his butt. Oh, yeah. I saw, him, I saw him run and run across. He was. He was That's our third so, bear? Yeah, well, we're only 3.9 miles from our campsite, so be bear aware. I think there's about three or four spots that'll work for us. There's no one really here yet, but there's just not that many spots for big rigs. Uh, there's a lot of car and van and maybe truck camper type spots, um, but we'll make it work. We'll get in. You want to go pull in that triple spot? Or triple yeah. And guide just, me just, man, there are squirrels everywhere. I don't want to squish one, please. It's fine. All right, we're just going to, we're going to keep it simple. Park right here. Oh, I see that. Why? What the? Ooh. I know I've, I've never said this to you before, but you have to go really slow, really, really, slow. really slow because you really, slow. really slow. slow. You only have about a foot and a half on that side of the vehicle. So we're going to have to go slow. You got to turn your wheels. Which way are you going to turn them right now? Let me see. Show me where you're going to do it. There you go. All right. Let's start bringing it in. You good? You good? You good? Nice and slow. Turn it a little more harder. Yep. You're good. You're good. I couldn't sleep. It's too hot in there. I slept for a smidge. There's a breeze out here, so it's nice. And the sun's starting to fall behind the trees. I can't figure out why Starlink just can't. We have much more open skies here than what we had at um that campground yeah the snow park that we stayed at go creek snow park is that an there. inchworm <laughs> it sure is inchworm he's afraid to go over the gap no i can't cross what am i gonna do i'm frozen oh somebody save me oh he just moved oh sure did he's like oh if i just get long and straight now the ants are gonna cross me like a bridge what are we gonna go watch sound of music sound of music Sound of music and in the look alike Bavarian hills. Yes, I thought we would like get into the mood, get into the love and work. Are you mood. gonna get some leader hosen? <laughs> get some, I have some in the RV. What are you talking about? Uh oh, it's three o'clock. We want to have dinner in the village, so we'll have our blue hair special again. <laughs> 5 30 dinner. We just scouted out where we're going to the theater tonight. <laughs> you use that term loosely, right? The theater. Very stuffy place. It's a ski hill. It's a ski hill, yeah. Oh, they're too small for me.
those bad boys. Yeah. Yeah. Smell a vision. Oh, he gave me a blonde one, too. <laughs> Your car cools down way quickly. Okay, you say so, because oh, it it's warm. Here. He looked at you and thought you needed to ride the bus. I don't ride the bus. He thought, oh, elderly lady. <laughs> <laughs> Probably what he thought. Probably thought, oh yeah, she needs the bus. I'm a hiker. We're counting this as a hike. You got stairs, I got a hill. Got a couple hundred feet elevation gain. I just don't want to tow pick. And I'm doing it in slides. Are you sliding backwards? Well, it's still better than wearing socks when it's 95 degrees out. What does he think now? It's probably 85, 88, something like that. Sure. Sure, let's go with that. They said there's no mosquitoes. I'll let you know. Guaranteed it. We'll let you know tomorrow. <laughs> We're putting the calamine on. Oh. Oh. Look at those fancy bathrooms. Damn it. Boys and girls. I texted one of my friends that I knew had gone to the show and she said, oh my gosh, I still have PTSD from that. It was so bad. <laughs> <laughs> and before we came, I'd done a whole bunch of research. I was like, oh, what stuff do we want to do while we're here in Leavenworth? And it was one of the, you know, top five summer things to do. It's more of a winter town. Well, I don't know. It's prettier it's in the both. winter, right? Yeah, but it's prettier in the winter because. Oh, but, you know, but yeah. people love to come here. This is where people come to hike. Yeah, and you have Oktoberfest up here and everything mm -hmm. else, right? But the, you know, there's like, oh, in the summer you got to, you know, one of the top five things was, you know, you got to go to the amphitheater for sound and music. And, but then you read like the bloggers' comments on it, and they're, <laughs> they're net people are, when you're like blogging to say, oh, here's the top ten things to go see. They're never negative about anything, right? It's always it's the greatest thing ever. You got to go to this, and you got to go to this. This one she started off with, despite the performances, <laughs> the views were incredible. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, that's not a good sign. So we went in with extremely low expectations. Low. We thought, oh, like, we'll leave at halftime. We thought, oh, we'll just go and we'll see the view because you see the mountains, you know, and you're sitting outside. We're like surrounded by the forest. I'm like, yeah, well, this, it'll be an experience, right? It was really good. They did a good job. They did a good job. They did, for what? Yeah. They well, did a good job. let me. They have very minimal sets because it's just right. an open air stage. And so they kind of move okay, around. Okay, But when they here. say, when we say they, it was pretty, it was good. Like the girl who, that played Maria was, she was outstanding. Yeah. She's a very experienced performer. Yeah. I mean, normally, normally this is like community theater. Right? Yeah. So and she get, could really, really. Whoever you sing. can get from the local community, which is a very small community right. here. You get what you get, right? Some people, I think, come in from Seattle. Yeah. 
who just... Well, she was from... She's, she lives in Redlands, California. She lives California. in Southern California. Yeah. yeah, so they must come here and live for the summer. But I yeah. overheard one of the volunteers talking, and she said that, like, 200 people tried out. And how many? There was probably 40 cast members. Probably, yeah. There's a lot of people who... Well, here's the thing about community theater. The people that are helping you park your car in the parking lot... <laughs> The people taking your tickets when you come in, yes. the people ushering you to your seat, mm -hmm. um, they're all wearing makeup and they have their microphones already on because they're also the people that are performing in the yes. show, right? Yes. So yes. They're, they're, working, they're working double duty because they just want to act. And then the, we saw Maria going into the porta potty. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, where's the, where's the star trailer? Where did she get to go to her right, trailer? Right. Oh. Either the blue porta potty or the pink porta potty. Which one are you gonna go to? <laughs> but I have to say, she was really good. Like I just waited for her to come on stage every time. We left there about almost eleven. It was eleven. Yeah, yeah. so we were driving home in the dark, and it's about a twenty-minute drive, basically down a. No, it's not a forest service road, but it's a small road. It's a small paved road, and I'm driving along and I've got my high beams on and I see a couple cars up ahead coming towards me and so I turn my high beams off and they're stopped in the road. I'm like, I kept looking for a cop, like red like, light. What? I thought maybe it was a dumb tourist who had stopped and then the other people were stopped right, behind right. him or something, right? And, so we got, and usually I can spot things in the road pretty good, even at night. You I, weren't looking. I usually see wildlife and all of a sudden we're like, oh. Crap. It's, oh shoot. There's a big bear. It's a bear. A bear. A big bear. Right, Grr. just walking along the road, looking he looked, like he had had a hard day. A hard right, day. <laughs> he was just. I think he might have been scared. I think he was scared because he was kind of trapped because he there was concrete barriers on both sides and and he, he wasn't our, having a lot of energy yeah. to jump over the concrete barrier. <laughs> our car was behind, and there were other cars behind us, and other cars in front of us. So he was kind of stuck, he, and it was you know, and it had been super hot, right? Yeah. And bears. You know, bless her heart. They have, they're like us. They, but they're, he was probably trying to get down to the river. Yeah. Although he was more in the populated area, so he was probably trying to find garbage cans. A new place, a new home for a while. Let me feel alive. Are here. Hold me back, take my time, just enjoy the ride. I know man passing by, life is good, best I've ever felt. I don't think I'm ready to do that in a kayak yet. I mean, maybe. I don't know, that's pretty hairy. Look at that, coming off that edge right there somebody go down it well and then look at this one i know you'd get through that toilet bowl and then you get a nice little calming and then you'd be like whoa got another one i found my way i found my way i was in the dark against it all the man do the thing because i found my way i found my way in bad times i know i'll be okay I was promised no elevation gain on this hike. I'm taking a shortcut. It took you so long. I didn't break the rules. Really? Yeah. I think I I think I just passed you. All right, so what are we at? Mile and a half? Uh, 1.3. 1.3, huh? I would think they would have cleaned it up. They're... For that reason. Because <sighs> my shoelace got caught. Keep going, we're not even at two miles. Wow, she's just like cracking a whip. Whoops. Ours are... On our side of the mountains, huckleberries, they're red. They're kind of a salmon color. Oh, really? But these are the true huckleberries. Huh. I don't think I would try them. I, yeah, only if I was with, like, Suey. <laughs> she knows her huckleberries. She knows her wild plants. I'm not, I'm not, see it, I think it turns purple, see? 
it gets darker. Where? Right there. Oh, that's not darker. <laughs> that's not they do. There's phases. Look, see that? And then that one. I believe you. Did you see that lady? She had a bag full of berries. Did she pick some? Like maybe. Well, those are huckleberries, right? Uh, wait about 10 minutes, see if we keel over. <laughs> we hope yeah. so. I said I wouldn't eat them unless I was with my Because there's, who there's blue them. ones further down, and then there's red ones here. Okay. And like, yeah. Are you ready, honey? Oh, yeah. Okay, and you're still alive. We, are. Okay. we don't see you back at the trailhead. We'll <laughs> let them know. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. You put one in your pie hole? Mm -hmm. All right. So later when you're sitting on the potty. Is a bear gonna come out and yell at me? <laughs> he is, he's like, hey, there's only so many berries and look at how big I am. Yeah, you're but he can go in there. You're eating all my look berries. Look at all of them in there. It's not like he's picking the berries. Maybe, bears, bears are very dainty. And he's like, one berry? <laughs> one berry, sure. Two berries? He just grabs it like a popsicle. Grabs the stick and yeah. And then goes, yeah. pulls them all off. Yeah, gets a little greens in there. This guy literally has a white van living down by the river. <laughs> when you're living in a van down by the river. It's freezing. It's cold. Mm -hmm. Is that why they call it icicle? Yeah. Got a water crossing. Yeah. Swim, paddle. Woo! Made it. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> I need to eat. I got a headache. Uh oh. I'm sorry to take. I sorry to drag you on these long and grueling hikes. It's just. I know. I should just. I should take you on some little strolls. <laughs> That's the way I'm going. All right. All right, we're on our way to dinner. Originally, we were planning on eating dinner in in the RV, but it's it, freaking hot. It's hot, yeah. It's it's not bad in the morning, and then we get the late afternoon sun hitting the RV, and so when we get back there, it's 92, 93 at least inside the RV. And we eat outside, but same thing. It's probably 90 degrees outside. Oh, and apparently, so. there's a good spot. Oh, this is where we saw the bear. Yes. Right along here? Right along here. He's not there. He was trapped. He's not there. He was trapped in between both of those concrete barriers, so. Yeah, well, pretty popular. I didn't realize we were this far into town. He was pretty close to town. I like oh, when it's... They don't have, oh, they do have this church kind of, don't they? They kind of do, but not like it's the ones. really hot up there. Yeah, but. <laughs> I have a pair of shoes just like that. We went to a traditional Bavarian restaurant again. <laughs> and had what is that? Southwest, Southwest chicken salad. Yeah. And, uh, you got what? 
I got mini tacos. They're very mini. couple of uh, task chores on the RV to get ready to leave today the uh, we'll come back we'll come back here at 1030 pick her up and then keep going because we're pretty close to the town right now Leavenworth so just pick her up go straight into town um, do the adventure park thing uh, and then turn around and head all the way back out to our campground, which is probably about 20 minutes. So, John dropped me off to do a quick, I think it's five miles round trip. Icicle Ridge Lookout. It's pretty. Started about 7.10. And only about a half mile in, but still pretty. That's where I'm going. Made it to the top of the overlook. Just a little more to go to look over all of Leavenworth. So I made it up to the top of Icicle Overlook. I think it's like uh, two and a half up and oops it was 1700 feet elevation and it's just a beautiful overlook of all of Leavenworth beautiful green trail I think they'd mind if I slid down the hill and took a dip. I'd just be like a bear. All oh, that looks heavenly. Got some stuff done around the RV this morning while Peggy was out on her hike. Got some breakfast in, cleaned some things up, a little fix it project. <clears throat> and now I'm headed out from the campsite to go uh, pick her up at the trailhead, which is about 20 minutes from here, headed towards. Leavenworth. Going down the stairs to the line. Well, there people go. John, up the roller coaster. Oh boy.
Wow, it doesn't seem like you're going that fast, but it's already got a good speed going. Woo! Woo! -hoo. All right, that is a little sketchy. <laughs> Woo! -hoo. Oh, 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 my gosh. Oh, oh, oh. No brakes yet. Oh, 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 oh. Woo. oh, it kind of a, I think when you get too close to someone, it applies brakes. Yeah, it does. Whoa, whoa. Oh. Oh, it keeps breaking me. Behind slow people. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I got stuck behind. So, my advice is make a reservation, yes. buy it in advance, do your waiver in advance so you don't have to sit there yeah. and do it when you get here. And then. Uh, but we didn't have if, connection to do it. No, we didn't. Yeah. Um, if you want to go fast, um, either hesitate at the top. <laughs> yeah. Or, tell, you, or tell the guy that's about to let you take off, say, hey, can you give me a little space? Yeah. Because, and even that doesn't help because you get up to the top and there's still kind of a guy right. up there, right? So right. you could like hesitate because what happens is if you want to go fast and you don't want to put the brakes on, but the guy in front of you puts the brakes on. It automatically brakes you. Yeah, your cart automatically engages the brakes so that there's always 80 feet between you and the next car. So there was a couple times coming down where it got nice and fast and then I'd be like, oh, because the guy in front of me was slow. What do the down. signs mean don't bump? Oh, well, oh, you're people in front of you. Yeah, but there's no way you can. Because it doesn't let you. It doesn't let oh, you. Oh, really? So, yeah. I mean, there's no way you're going to get Yeah. within 80 feet of someone with the way that braking system works. Okay. So, I don't know why. Like, every reading the signs, I'm like, bump Maybe what? it's right at the end. Oh, right. Right where they're, you know, yeah. So, I don't know. Yeah. All right. All right, we're headed back to the campsite to pack up, eat lunch, and move on to our next spot. Trying to figure out where that squeak's coming from. Um, what are you doing now? It sounds like it's coming from here, but.